Hi, my name is Heather. I'm a biologist here at the Rainforest at Moody Gardens. I'd like to introduce you to one of our newest members of our Rainforest collection. This is Cooper. He's an ocelot. He's 18 months old, and he'll be joining our new Rainforest opening in May 2011. Cooper is a carnivore, which means he's a meat eater. In the wild, they eat small mammals and birds and fish. Here at Moody Gardens, we give him a nice, varied diet of similar items. So today we've got meat and some pinky mice, and let's see if he'll take some food for us. We also feed him fish. He gets a bone once a week, as well as other meat items like rats and rabbits. It's important that we have Cooper here at Moody Gardens because ocelots are endangered. There actually are a few left in Texas, down in the Rio Grande Valley. They're also found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. However, even though Cooper looks extremely cute and cuddly, they do not make good pets. He's a wild animal and has very sharp teeth and sharp claws. Cooper has made a lot of transitions since we've got him in June. He made a huge lifestyle change from his previous zoo. Now he's getting used to a lot of new keepers and learning training and enrichment. For training purposes, we're trying to teach him as many things as possible and he's slowly catching on. Like before, we get weights on him. We're also teaching him to sit, lay down, and to follow us around the exhibit. Later, this will be very helpful in his new exhibit as we try to do training sessions for the public. Another thing that we do with Cooper that he was not used to is different forms of enrichment. Enrichment is anything that you give an animal to increase their natural behavior and decrease the monotony in their day. So he gets a lot of variety of food toys and puzzles, trying to figure out how to open containers and boxes. We also give him a variety of scents to rub on and roll around in, and just fun plain toys. I'd like you to come join us and visit Cooper in his new exhibit in the rainforest when it reopens in May of 2011. It's going to have some new viewing options. We're going to be able to see him from the canopy walk or up close by his pool in front of the glass. Hope to see you there.